Zip lines? More like sleep lines, am I right? Shut up! You Okay, suck. but seriously, they're not only boring, they're also the leading cause of death in the game. At least for gunners in the form of fall damage. Surprisingly, drillers only come in third place. Wait, what? But don't worry, I've learned from my mistakes and here's a solution. With the fall damage, not drillers, they're still hopeless war criminals and keep hunting these poor scouts with C4. However, let me help you avoid becoming a number in a statistic, and let those zip lines turn you literally into a human gunship. By the end of this video, you'll be a zip line expert and know when, and how to apply different zip line techniques, no matter if you're a bloody green beard, or already an elite deep dive expert. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, there are even more useful tips waiting for you folks. So let's dive in and get started before we drill down too much. If you're new to the game, let's talk about what zip lines are first. These nifty gadgets are the gunner's best friend. Just string a line from point A to point B and voila. You're zipping up and down in no time. But beware, these lines only stretch up to 50 meters and have a limited angle. Still, they're perfect for crossing chasms or reaching hard to reach areas. And that's not all, you can also use them to make a quick getaway from annoying enemies, all while taking them down from a safe distance. Just be sure to pack some extra ammo with the extended ammo bags mod, you only get 4 shots, after all without it in your loadout. And for tip number 1, let's stick with loadouts. When it comes to the gunner class, the best combo to use alongside zip lines is the auto cannon and the coil gun. With its unique modification called Suppressive Fire, the auto cannon can scare off enemies and give you the time to breathe. This is especially helpful when you're up in the air on a zip line, as taking damage can send you down to your doom. But what about those pesky little shockers that are too small and too many to hit with the auto cannon? That's where the quill gun comes in handy, as its projectiles leave a trail in the air damaging any enemy crossing it. And if you're lucky enough to have the triple tech chamber overclock, it's the perfect tool to add even more firepower to your loadout, since you can increase the number of trails in the air up to 3. Alright, let's zip over to tip number 2. This technique will teach you the safest, easiest and most flexible way to use your zip lines. Here's how it works. No matter where you are, set up a zip line at an angle, not parallel to the ground, so you can quickly distance yourself from any enemies, and shoot them from above. But before doing that, Place another zip line directly below the first as a backup. You can even repeat this step a third time if necessary. But why? If you take damage and fall off the first zip line, just spam the interact button to grab onto the backup zip line below to avoid fall damage. And here's a pro tip if you manage to grab onto the backup zip line, you can even get back up to the first one by pulling yourself up and switching directions. By moving down and jumping, you'll propel yourself upwards and be able to reach the higher zipline again. This technique will greatly increase your chances of survival. And here's another tip. When suddenly there are too many enemies, just set up your ziplines in a shield generator's protection. So all in all, this technique requires minimal time and effort, allowing you to quickly react to any threats in your surroundings. The only downside is that it only covers a limited area from a specific angle, but it's definitely worth trying out. At the beginning I promised to turn you into a human gunship. Now it's time to deliver with tip number 3. With this method, you can cover any area from any angle imaginable. Picture the area you want to cover as a rectangle and stand in the corners of it while attaching zip lines along the edges. Repeat this process 4 times until you have all sides of the imaginary rectangle covered. But it's very important that you set them up at a 20 to 30 degree angle. This angle is crucial for both protection and mobility, as enemies can't reach you while you can easily move from one zipline to another. Switching the zipline works by simply dropping yourself onto another one and spamming the interact button. The lower zipline will stop your fall without you taking any damage. This technique is especially helpful during escort duty missions, where you can fully encircle a hearthstone and provide fire support from all angles. Like an AC-130 circling its defenseless prey. Okay, rather in slow motion to be fair, but at least as dangerous. Though this technique has some disadvantages, you're more vulnerable to flying enemies or fall damage, and you'll need a bit of setup time but the benefits far outweigh. 
With this method, you can cover a massive area and let your team concentrate on their mission while providing fire support. With this said, let's move on to our fourth and final tip. So far, we've learned about two methods that specialize in either defense or fire support. But sometimes, wouldn't it be helpful to have something from both worlds? Luckily, that's possible. By setting up two zipline pairs crossing each other, you can create an intersection that allows you to switch easily between ziplines going in different directions. In this way, you can cover a certain area from multiple angles while also being protected from fall damage to your backup zip lines. And here's another pro tip. When setting up the zip lines, try to alternate between directions at the intersection. This will make it easier for you to switch directions later. So all in all, this method combines the advantages of both worlds. You have protection from fall damage by having backup zip lines, and you can cover a relatively large area from multiple angles. While your firepower may not be as effective as in the method from the previous tip, it's still much more effective than the safety first method, as I showed you in the second tip. Unfortunately, this combined method also has a disadvantage. It takes longer to set up as you need to place your zip lines at two different positions. And of course you have to find these spots beforehand. However, it's not as time consuming as the method from the last tip, where you can encircle a large area. And both, the combined method from tip 4 and the safety first method from tip 2 can be used in relatively tight spaces, making them very flexible. But if you're in a tight space, the absolute favorite is still the safety first method from tip number 2, which makes it perfect to use in the majority of situations. And that's about it. If you enjoyed the video or at least found it helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this. I hope I see you next time. Rock and Stone